Cool. The next set of the day is going to be Mucha Man Randy Passion versus Outlet. They're jumping right into it. Doing their counter picks. Really thinking about their counter picks. Maybe they're not jumping right, right into it. Okay, so, a little storyline here. Uh, BV just visited Salem yesterday, myself, Ford, and Outlet. And um, I, these guys played Outlet once. Wait, did I say Ford? I meant the NPR. Ford didn't go with us. Why am I thinking that? Um, I think I live with him now. Um... But yeah, Outlet still looks like he has his number, but Mucho, Mucho's a really persistent player, and I really appreciate about that about him. Up and back in. Looks like VMPR is going to be rehopping into commentary with me. Hello, the, the Salem Classic. That's what I was just talking about. Like, this oh, just yeah. happened in Salem yesterday. I know, uh, Harrison won really hard last week, I believe. I might uh, be wrong. Yeah, he won pretty good. Okay. So, between them, just a little bit more volume. Alright, my bad. You're good. So, um, you don't know. Yeah, that's fair. So, we'll see how this goes, honestly. Hmm. The thing I was saying is, I really appreciate Mucho in this kind of situation. Loses to him the day before. You know he really wants to play this. Like, he actually yeah. is, like, he, he thinks about his losses and he wants to fix them. One thing I'll say is that I gave Harrison advice to pick fourth port. Because if you're fourth port... He always picks fourth port anyway, who cares? I, he started... I think he did it in this matchup in particular because I told him to. I mean, he probably actually thinks Sheik's about it more. Sheik's grab doesn't grab DI away. It's like one frame off. And Peach can fucking buffer float out of it and hit her for trying to grab you. <laughs> it's very funny. It's super it is funny. A little silly. Hey, it's a port priority melee, man. It's a, it's a little dumb, but it's okay. I just want game five with Mike B. Cool. How'd it go? Um... Game one, I won really handily. Game two, he picked Pokemon, and I switched to Fox, and I barely lost. And then game three, he beat me on FD, and then I beat him on FD, and then I won on Dreamland. Cool. A lot of close sets. Actually, so, I'm still not... I keep, I keep bragging on it. Not a big fan of the ladder format for, for a reason still, right? Yeah. But it is making a lot of close sets happen, and yeah. that I like. It's that I like. Fun. It's a little fun. It's definitely, like, nerve-wracking. Man, one more good aerial from a tree so clean out of stock. There you go. That's there it. it is, yeah. Um, Sometimes you just know what somebody's looking for. They're like, I just yeah. want this to happen, and, that, Her, and I'll work everything I can to make that happen. Harrison's got a big lead and center stage, though, and that's I don't like know about a that. really... It's not a huge lead. It's, I feel like it's a big enough lead for this matchup, right? Like, the fact that he has center stage is a huge part, because she can put a lot of damage on Peach. But yeah, her way of doing it is usually by hitting her away from the stage over and over again. So if the Peach has center stage and you're forced in the corner, it gets really rough. Yeah, that's really rough. Mucho's just trying to get a jab or a tilt out, and he just keeps grabbing these turn -ups. Yeah. He doesn't want him. I think he's also going for light hitboxes too early in Peach's percent to the point where he can get crouch cancel punishes quite easily. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, Sheik's using uses a lot of light hits to try to set up for combos. Yeah. So, like... I, I guess, just think that stuff is I better mean, the higher percent you get, right? Like, jab leads into up air and kills yeah. at 100, right? So it's. But here is the story of, hey, I'm Sheik, and I keep getting crouch canceled. What do I do? Yeah, exactly. It, I mean, literally, it's like... I'm, you, I'm seeing Harrison I, I shield grab, a then lot, then. and I'm seeing Mucho Man not go for grabs. Very sure. often. I don't know. I don't think... That should have been death. Oh, he went for a read. Okay, never mind. Hmm. That's it. That was a really good forward air. Outlet really knows how to make that kind of forward or just connect. Just makes it happen. Yeah, I agree. I don't even get it. The the more and more I've been like playing pizza secondary and I've gotten better at it, right? You kind of figure out how to like load the weapon and, and time it right when you think they're gonna be there. I, I I don't understand how you get so good at it. I have to play light bulb, but I'm gonna wait until after the set's over because I wanna commentate it. It's not a huge deal. It, it kind of depends on the time for it. It's really not a big deal. We've had people hopping in and out. Bit. I've had you over here, I've had Chris over here. Knox wants to come over here, but hasn't had a chance. I will be right back, actually. I need to talk to Donna real quick. Cool. Alright, so we're losing VMPR, at least temporarily. Wow, that turnip setup was really, really bizarre. Like, there's no way to get out of your shield because you'll just get bonked by the turnip. Yeah. 
like how our um, player cam here has like a pretty good grip on these players controllers it's kind of funny you can like see it really clearly oh, the Empire's coming back he was just checking up on a match or something so so one thing that i'll say is that i think that Harrison could have been playing his stage picks a lot better. I think Yoshi's is probably Sheik's best stage. I mean, he just won on it, but in this matchup, I think Sheik's best stage. Sure, whatever. He just yeah. likes Yoshi's. I think that, <laughs> well, yeah, but you could start Fodder FD and both are better for you, right? But he doesn't like those stages. I don't think that's true. I think he likes winning. Like, this is obviously P Sheik's best stage, though. That's why, or like one yeah, of Sheik's best stages. It's like, it's like this and Yoshi's are like the two good Sheik ones, and he just lost on Yoshi, so I, I understand. The coming I wonder here. how the striking went, so I'm gonna guess Sheik banned Dreamland. Uh, Harrison probably banned Battlefield and FOD, and then he think? went. Uh, yeah, and then no, he Well, that makes went. it not sound so bad to get Yoshi. Yeah, but you could, I, I don't know, or he banned Battlefield FD, actually, one or the other. He might have. I don't, know, I don't think you ban. Weird. I don't really think that you ban FD against Sheik. You I know? agree. I entirely agree. Yeah. He, I guess he. May, I, I don't think you did. You had to ban fodder FD. Is the I point. bet his final call had to be between like FD and Yoshi, and Mucho would take yeah. Yoshi. That's sure. That's reasonable, right? Yeah. <laughs> I love seeing when you see the turn up start. Like it's just gonna hit you. You can't just keep charging needles. He could have just gone on the platform, honestly. Oh yeah, he had options. Now this is what I call when you're peach. This is a steady, a he, like a hefty lead right here. Yeah, this is You're true. a stock ahead and you're like lower on percentage. I think she's so, already kind of lost pretty much every crouch cancel opportunity, 80%. Yeah. Like, ooh. I think like running up there. I wish people thought about the game and actually eight stocks where it's like sometimes you have eight stocks and four of them are the ones your life and then the other four are your opportunities to crouch cancel. And losing those, is like, it's like a half stock. When you hit that margin, it's like, oh no, this stock's half over. I, I it mean, really is. I wouldn't say I would think of it as a half stock, but I definitely really do pay attention to it's when I It's such a tool, yeah. Tool. Um, one thing I'll say is that <laughs> Harrison jokes about how he plays the entire game in the corner, but Mucho Man has given him center stage like countless times. Like if if yeah. you watch like plot plays matchup or even like Miro play Aura, like you can see... Um, how well they keep center stage and that's really important like Mucho Man really likes playing around on the platforms here and I think that's like that's it that's, he's just gonna close that stock like that I think that's leading to a lot of situations where he's hitting Peach and not getting much off of it but Peach is hitting him and he's dying yeah. or like getting hit off the stage oh, for sure. and like that's, taking a shit ton of damage in general yeah but I think he's like I, I think he's not playing with center stage in mind actually that's like or at least out. not enough that's gonna close the second game for Outlet I honestly think unless he changes that, this is just going to go 3-0. Do you, you think his big problem is it's just you need stage position Yeah, back. he's not playing around it like at all. Okay. I think if he played around it, it would be very, very close. Why do you, that, do you think it's just because Mucho is such like a platform-based player? Like he uses a lot of movement for platforms to like drop through his needles and stuff? I actually don't think he's a platform-based player, and that's why it's really weird to me that he's playing like this. Because I usually see him running around the ground a lot. And I think that the platforms are good whenever you don't have center stage, but I don't think he's playing with it in mind. I think he's just trying to, like, needle him, like, way too much, honestly. Yeah. So I like, want to know, like, we literally have not seen him stay in the center yeah, of the stage. Yeah, he's running away from he it. He leaves it every time. Yeah. Um, well, he's using it, like, he's using platform as a way to, like, back up because it's safe. Yeah, that's true. There. It is good to do that, but I'm just saying, like, like right here, this... There's a lot of times where you could just stay there and he doesn't, and that's yeah. how you like get a shit ton of damage on Peach or get edge guards on it or something, right? Mm -hmm. This is good right here. This is what he should be doing sure. almost all the time, if he can. Um, he's gonna get away with that. Oh, yeah, whoa. he's dead. That's it. Good boost grab. Uh, yeah. Whatever, that's fine. Um, yeah, that, that was fine. Optimal no work, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, another thing I'll say is Harrison actually likes floating a lot, a lot. So yeah, he does. I think that that's also where center stage could help out a lot. Okay. Um, I think that's actually where center stage could help out a lot is because he likes floating. It's really easy to snipe him with aerials, like to catch under his float. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm gonna go play my match. Okay. Good luck. Right. You're good. Uh, a lot of good uh, ideas there. Sheik holding center stage and stuff, and Sheik. Really, really important. It's not always easy, though. 
Because you really have to respect, like, pushing sheet, uh, Peach back as Sheik can be really, really hard. Your only real tool for it is, like, needles and, like, when you can come down from platforms. But I think using, like, your back air and your needles and stuff, you can really create that sort of situation. And instead, Peach doesn't have the strongest pushback. It's like, she has to get up space, you gotta turn up to, to make it back in a lot of the time. Otherwise, you're, like, at least at somewhat of an advantage. And what's interesting about this is, like, Outlet can pretty frequently struggle with Sheik, but there's something that Mucho does, something innately in his game plan that's like, it doesn't click for him to beat Outlet, even though Outlet might not, like, prob probably his worst matchup. Just not that familiar with it, not a lot of really strong uh, Sheiks in Portland. And uh, Shrek's Whisper in SO, shoutouts to him. Uh, very good, just don't get to play him very much. KBD and Shrek's Whisper, they're both great. And Miro also, but he's in Eugene. All the strongest Sheiks are south of that. That was steamy. Which looks like he's kind of like, he's, he's cooking something up though. Oh my gosh, that down tilt was so sick. Oh my god, what are these down tilts? Why are these down tilts? It's crazy. I'm actually not sure he's making him connect so frequently. He must be seeing something or looking for something he's specific. Good air dodge. I love it. Actually, Outlet is playing so good. Chosen such a scary deficit right now because the thing is they're both in like that last hit last stock scenario except outlet has another stock like so even if you get this hit now he's got such another opportunity to pick it up on you that's it I 